Travis County's district attorney lands in court fighting to keep her job after a DWI conviction. The deputies who arrested, booked, and restrained Rosemary Lemberg told a judge they worried she would make good on her threats. Now, eight months after she was arrested for DWI, the Travis County DA is on trial to determine whether she gets to keep her job. Chris Sodigy is live at the Justice Complex tonight, where the first day of testimony wrapped up. Chris? Robert, many have already seen the video of Rosemary Lindbergh after her arrest and her behavior towards the deputies. Well, today, those deputies were paraded to the stand to talk about that and some other things that may not have been caught on camera. Did you call her? Angry, rude, belligerent, just some of the words these deputies had to describe Rosemary Lindbergh's behavior on April 12th. Threats towards booking officers aren't unusual, but all the deputies who testified admitted these felt different. You've been arrested for DWI. That's y'all's problem. One deputy said he wondered what misery Lindbergh might be able to cause in his life, while another said Lindbergh claimed she would, quote, have your badge. The defiance seemed to start as soon as deputies arrived at her car. I didn't hear any of the dialogue between her and the deputies. Um, I just saw an initial kind of a shaking of the fist and them putting a stop to that very quickly. Mark Weston is one of two drivers who testified Monday. He said he called 911 after Lindbergh swerved in front of him. He didn't know it was her at the time, but said he had to call police or someone may have been hurt. There was actually a period I was afraid I was going to hit the vehicle due to her braking. Uh, and then, yeah, absolutely afraid that someone else was going to get hit. Now, this trial is not about whether or not Lindbergh was driving drunk. She already pled guilty, served her time, but the state is trying to say that her use of alcohol is habitual and goes against the public interest. However, her defense team says that they cannot prove that her alcohol use affects her job ability and that she's already taken responsibility. We're live in downtown Austin tonight. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Chris, thank you. And the Lindbergh case could have major implications that go beyond Travis County. Tonight at 6, we'll take a closer look at what's at stake and why it's important for criminal cases across Texas.